everyone, I'm Lottie Murphy and I'm going to take you through five of my favourite Pilates moves to give you a total body summer workout. Let's get started. So the first move is this standing side stretch. So you're going to have your hands behind your head, feet turned out nice and wide and keeping your pelvis really still, we're just leaning and reaching over to one side. So really think about here, those elbows reaching to opposite sides of the room, and then one elbow reaching up towards the ceiling as you lengthen up and over to the side. So you don't want to think of collapsing to the side, but really lifting up and then over to the side. So you're going to start to work the obliques, your waist, and really get nice and warmed up through that spine as well. So now we can continue to mobilize your spine, work your upper body and your back and your core as well. So we're doing this little circular press up to a cobra and um, it feels really nice on your back, on your hips um, and also getting that really nice back extension into that cobra. So you're starting on your hands and knees, rounding and then scooping forward, you bend your elbows, that's where the upper body strength comes in, I find that a bit really hard. Lift up into that extension and then you're rippling all the weight back through into like a little child's pose. So those elbows are wide and then you push the floor away and you round all the way back. So you want to make sure you're keeping your abdominals drawing close towards that spine the whole time, really feeling that little scoop up and in. And then when you curve back, really start from the head and then work your way all the way back to the tailbone. Um, so it might take a few times just to really get the motion of this one, but when you do, it feels so nice. Okay, so now we're coming into the torpedo to side teaser. So this is again, is gonna really work the waist, take lots of control and lots of balance. It's one of those total body moves. We're working the legs as well, and I got a little bit stuck there. Um, so you're going from a torpedo on one side on the elbow and then lifting up towards the feet as you kind of rock back on your hip. So again, taking lots of control, lots of balance and lots of focus. And just remember, don't forget to really breathe. Breathing is such a key thing when it comes to Pilates. So not too worried about when you breathe, but making sure that that breath is really flowing and you're really doing your Pilates breath, which is breathing into the sides and the back of your rib cage. And then we're going on to the other side. So getting yourself lined up, make sure that elbow is right underneath the shoulder. The legs are lengthening away and the inner thighs are really squeezing together. And then you just rock back on the back hip and then you're just reaching that top arm up towards the feet into that little teaser and then controlling as you come back onto the elbow and back into that torpedo. So keeping both sides of the waist really long and lengthened zipping up through the tummy and then controlling it back. So now we're coming into a plank position and we're doing a leg pull front. We're doing three of these rocking forwards and back through the ankles, lifting up to a downward dog and then doing three heel raises. And then you just repeat that. So you come into that plank position, squeezing the legs together, rock forwards and back from the shoulders and from the ankles, lifting the hips up high and then the heels press down and up. So you should feel quite a lot of work around the calves, the ankles and the feet. So it's really important for us to work our extremities as well as sort of the main things that you might think of, uh, like the glutes and the core. We also want to think about the shoulders and the knees and the hips and the ankles as well. So when you lift up into that downward dog, really work from the tummy, getting a lovely stretch through that spine and into the shoulders and then pressing those heels as close to the floor as you can, coming into that plank really lifting up through the lower abdominals as you rock forwards and back through the heels. And then the final move here is gonna be our hip rolls. So we've got our legs in a tabletop position and it's just a really nice one to mobilize your spine, get your abs working, support your back, strengthen your core keeping those knees really squeezing together and as the knees roll up the, over to one side, try and keep the opposite shoulder and the opposite ribcage wrapping back in the opposite direction so you get a really nice twist as well. And just taking this time to really breathe, connect to your centre, connect your mind and body.
So I hope you enjoyed those Pilates moves. Make sure you really take your time with them. Pilates is all about that mind-body connection and having lots of control over your movements. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!